Hi guys, so today I am bringing to you another unboxing. It's been a while since I did an unboxing, I think, but I just got my October Fairly box and I'm talking in American. Why am I talking American? Anyway, I just got my October Fairly box and now I'm trying to keep talking in American. I'm going to switch eventually, probably, but yeah. Fairly. Uh, so if you don't know, it's a subscription box. It's based in the UK, which is kind of great for me right now because that means that I don't have to really wait that long for the shipping to come through. Uh, I would have gotten it yesterday, but it got there like five minutes after I had to go to class and had just been at the post office. And then five minutes later, it's arrived. Anyway, let's just get into it. All right, I'm going to give you guys the first look. Which it might not even show that much, but... Alright, yeah, no. It literally just shows the spoiler card. And I just, I love the art on these. But yeah, the theme is villainous, and I'm not going to read this yet. The first thing that I can see is a candle called Maleficent from Meraki Candles. It's Jade Orchid and Lotus Blossom. Let's... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, I will ask some of my flatmates if they can open this. Yeah, no, that is absolutely stuck. I've gotten like loads of people to try to open it. Um, fuck. Oh, I'll have to contact Fairloot and ask if they have an actress because I really want this because I really... I mean, Jade and Lotus is like cool and... I'm just really annoyed now. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Alright, we have, I think these are like postcards or something. Um, Ayama and the Thorn Wood. Oh, these are like, yeah, they're like from different uh, f of the fairy tales in the language of thorns and roses. Is that was language of thorns, just thorns, not the court of thorns and roses, sorry. But yeah, I think they're like snapshots from different fairy tales which is cool they like six different ones moving on ah it's a little hand pocket mirror thing i like these i never use them but i like them this one says everyone has a darkness inside them however hidden is from the young elites by marie lou it's really pretty i like this there's also a, oh yes there's a coaster um I don't have any coasters currently. I have this one which is like canvas, which is the online learning thing that we use. Uh, but this one's really nice. Uh, it looks really pretty. It says every fairy tale needs a good old fashioned villain. I'm not entirely sure where that's from, but I really like it. There's also a pin. Oh, it's a Death Eater pin, but it's like really cute. So I really like this one. We also have. Ah! posters. Alright, one of these is Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. What? Life doesn't need magic to be magical, but a little bit sure doesn't hurt. That's really adorable. Um, oh, it's a Daughter of Smoke and Bow novella. I haven't heard of that, but yeah. And then there's this poster, which is also really, really nice. It says, if I cannot move heaven, I will raise hell. Uh, Virgil the Aenid. Oh, that's that's like a classic thing, isn't it? I'll have to Google that. But I feel like that's the Aenid, isn't that? I feel like that's a classical thing. Um, but I really like this print and I really like the quote as well. Alright, here we go. This is the um, exclusive edition of The Language of Thorns, uh, which is, I think it's like red instead of yellow. I think the red is supposed to be yellow. Um, I haven't actually read, I've read the first book in, oh, there's like illustrations and stuff in it, I really like this. But yeah, I've read the first book in the Grishaverse, um, the, um, the first in the trilogy. Uh, and I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I've heard so many great things. So, like Luba Duga, I'll give it another try. Um, and either way, this is like small fairy tales and stuff, so... That's cool. Then I think the only thing left is the official book of the month. 
which yeah, which as usual comes in yeah, no, that's it. Which as usual comes in this uh, fairly book sleeve, which is so practical. I love it. Um, and I'm just gonna pull out the book first because there's usually some related swag. This is Force of a Thousand Lanterns. It's, a, it's a reimagining of the Evil Queen, um, but it's like set in like Chinese or like Asian setting. I really like this. <laughs> Chinese ish, that sounds racist as fuck. Uh, yeah, now I've heard of this. But yeah, uh, this is the book of the month. It's by Julie C. Dow. Uh, and, like, I love the cover. So, overall, I'm really happy with this. I'm really sad that I can't get this to open. But otherwise, I'm really happy with this box. Um, and that's all I have for you guys right now. So, bye.